and hello everyone and welcome back to a new video so you know in Windows you have the task manager right which if you remember you can like stop tasks and things now you have the same thing on Win Windows you have the same thing on Linux uh, but if you go on Linux you'll mostly either see people talking about this HTOP or just top and both of them are not really that beginner friendly especially if you're lazy to learn about the Linux system but there is an alternative system monitor right here system monitor this is basically the alternative to task manager as you can see here you can like select something like I don't really have anything uh, yeah I can select uh, there we go here's Nemo and uh, using Nemo in the background we say end process in process and boom there it goes the process is missing no longer taking all of our RAM and stuff I could have closed Chrome anyways now you can do the same thing in the terminal so GNOME and uh, it is system monitor press that and here it is yeah let's just close it again see I did close it and if you click it it pops up okay now now that we know this method, this inserting the command, now we can go here and go to a keyboard or you can just type in shortcuts because it brings up the same thing and you can go here to shortcuts, custom shortcuts and in Windows it's either control shift escape or control alt delete if I'm not mistaken. I'm using control shift escape obviously for most of my task manager things so what I want to do is I'm going to go like task manager just click on add custom shortcut after your add custom shortcuts and then the command is going to be this command right here so to copy this control shift C and once you've copied it you can just go here and control V and then you can say add once you've added it it will be here and you can go to keyboard bindings you can just double click on that and then control shift escape now control shift escape has been assigned to task manager so let's go here control shift escape and here we go we have task manager or system monitor and that's about it that's how you create your own little task manager here thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed and see you all in the next video